Imagine your dog going missing for two months only to have somebody knock on your door and say, I found her 500 feet deep inside a cold, wet cave. That's what happened in Missouri two weeks ago. A group of cave divers spelunking 500 feet deep came across this little one, 13-year-old Abby, a poodle mix. She was filthy. She was malnourished. She was sitting on a cold rock, and Abby didn't even have the energy to wag her tail. But the cavers went into rescue mode, zipping her up in a cozy little duffel bag and then carrying her to safety. One of those rescuers, Rick Haley, joins me tonight. Rick, this is just astounding. When your team came across a dog 500 feet into a cave, were, were they scared? Because you wouldn't think it'd be a dog. Well, actually, it was quite a surprise. Um, and actually, it was a group of recreational cavers, of uh, parents and kids who discovered the dog. Uh, and so um, once it was discovered, they uh, had to exit the cave. They took a picture of it and they left a flashlight on. And then once they left the cave, they started canvassing the neighborhood and see if they could find the dog owner. So you are a trained rescuer and you were the, 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 the guardian angel that came and rescued little Abby. And I saw the duffel bag. Uh, tell me about the process of getting her out of the cave. I mean, 500 feet is no small feet, pardon the pun. Yeah, it, it's, a, it's a good little distance and it was a little bit tight and um, a little bit vertical. Uh, so um, we had to, we tried to get her to walk. We tried to get her to walk towards the entrance and she'd take a few steps uh, I'd pull on a leash, and Gary, my other rescuer, Gary Keen, uh, would push from behind. But it was it was pretty sh pretty evident she didn't want to walk. So we we sat down, opened the duffel bag, put the blanket inside, and she, on her own accord, stepped right onto the blanket. Uh, we wrapped her up, zipped her up, and then moved she's her. She's so cute. Oh, she's so her. cute. Okay, so. Let me ask you, though, because, uh, you know, she had long fingernails, uh, little paw nails, which means that she probably wasn't walking around very much in the right in the two months that she was down there. Um, and uh, I'm assuming that she couldn't move because she was starving. Right. So uh, I want to do something right now because this is a pretty special little moment. I want to bring in, if I can, uh, Abby's owner, Jeff Bonert, who is going to be with us now. Jeff. Tell us how Abby's doing. And there she is. There's little Abby. Hi, Jeff. How's she doing? She's doing great. She's a little tired tonight, but uh, she's really uh, recovering well. She's got her a lot of her normal energy back. Um, she's got a long ways to go yet. She's still skinny, but she for only just a little over a week out, I would say she's doing fantastic. What do you think she was eating down there, Jeff? Um... Probably not much of anything. There's <laughs> not much down there I to have eat. Heard, well, I have heard there are fish and there's some crustaceans. I mean, it, Rick, do you think that might have been possible? I mean, you're a caver. You know what's down there. No, I, I don't think she ate fish. I don't think she had crustaceans. Uh, there could have been some invertebrates down there that she could have eaten. But for me, I can't think of anything that she could eat. I mean, Jeff, what did you think when someone knocked on your door and said, we found her? Well, we actually got the word by a neighbor texting us and saying they had found a dog in the cave. And it was kind of in disbelief, I guess, that it could even be our dog because it had been two months. So, And then they said it had a shocker collar on it for our perimeter fence. And that kind of piqued my interest. So I said, I'm going to drive back to the cave and check this out. And Sure enough, I met with Jerry back there, and the picture he showed me was Abby. Well, how do you think she got trapped? Oh, I would say probably by one of the sinkholes in the area. There's a lot of sinkholes here that lead into that cave system, and I'm sure her and our other dog were probably out running around and chasing something and ended up slipping off in that, to that sinkhole that and, led down into the cave. And she went. So, Jeff, do you, do you have anything you want to say to Rick? Because, but not for him. I mean, what a rescue. Oh, I've talked with Rick already. He's actually been back to the house here already the other, over the weekend and had a picture taken with her. I, 
I mean, I'm thankful those guys were there when they were to do what they do. Rick, you must feel pretty good seeing Abby uh, in full force on the TV screen. Yeah, um, it's fantastic. It's, it's a miraculous story of survival. Um, I, I'm just glad to be part of it. Boy, is it ever. Okay, well, thank you, Abby, for being such a good little puppy dog on your TV debut. I'm guessing it's her first live, maybe, TV debut. Uh, Rick Haley and Jeff Boner, thank you as well, and good luck to Abby. Thank you, and good night. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider, and don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.